Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm going to be testing and reviewing the Flame Stower. This is a portable uh, recharging device that uses heat, uh, more importantly water, heated water, to recharge your USB devices, whether it's a GoPro, your smartphone, or any other uh, USB device. Really, really cool. I met these guys at Outdoor Retailer uh, last August and they were nice enough to, uh, to give me one. These guys are a Kickstarter project and they're making something really, really cool. So I wanted to showcase it and show you guys what it's all about. Well, here it is right here. This is the flame stower and it's all folds in nice and neat. And this thing weighs in at about 10 ounces. And what this does is basically this thing pops up. You got food grade silicone right here. So high heat retention. You fill this uh, reservoir up with water and you slide these guys out. Move this thing out of the way. This thing all slides out just like that. And this goes this way. And this sets up just like that, you know, with its feet. And this little guy, you put over a stove or a fire, and that transfers energy from their little, uh, their technology built in here to a USB port right here. So as soon as this thing gets hot enough, this little light will light up, and then you can plug in and charge your device. And that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit of water. I'm gonna pour it in the reservoir here. I'm gonna fill it up almost all the way. And then I'm gonna put this pot of water on the stove here. I'm gonna turn the stove on. I'm gonna put this bad boy right here. I'm gonna turn this down. And I'm gonna put the flame stower right in between the pot. and the uh, stove. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna transfer all the heat from here to here, and eventually this little guy will light up. And I wanna make this a little bit more secure. You can use that with the feet here. And eventually this little guy is gonna light up and then we'll be able to plug in. I don't know if you can see it, but on camera, uh, this little guy is now glowing green. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in my iPhone. I have a six plus. Okay, we're charging. We're charging from hot water right now and a stove with no electrical outlet, no battery banks, no nothing. That's pretty awesome. And we're charging with nothing more than just boiling water, which you're gonna do anyway when you cook. Um, you could also put this over a fire, you know, your campfire, and you could have your devices recharging, your GoPro, your, your cell phone. This way you always have your camera 
charged and you don't have to worry about bringing extra batteries, which is really cool. So that's the basic setup right there. Put the little tab right there into the heat. Transfers the water in here into energy. So that thing lights up. Let me get it in the shade so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Once that thing starts to glow green, we're plugged in and charging. Now, as I said, this is something you would normally bring anyway. You would normally bring like a battery bank or, you know, something else to keep your, uh, keep your phone charged. At 10 ounces, you could just bring one of these, and as long as you have heat and water, you can keep your ba your, uh, your batteries recharged on your cell phone or your GoPro or any other USB device, like a USB lantern or whatever. All right, so that's my review of the Flame Stower. You know, it's a really cool device. As I said, it only weighs in at about 10 ounces, so it's not terribly heavy, but really, really cool and beneficial, you know? I mean, would I backpack with it? Maybe if I was on like a really, really long backpacking trip and I just, I didn't want to carry a whole bunch of batteries and battery banks, then, you know, I probably would bring this with me. So it's pretty cool. It gives you about 40 minutes of talk time from a 20 minute charge. So if that's uh, what you're using on your phone, now granted that's approximate, you know, it all depends on the heat of the fire and what kind of phone you're using. So keep that in mind. Charge times vary, as I said, depending on the device, depending on the heat. So the output on this thing is five volts and uh, 2.5 watt as peak so puts out some serious power you know and i really like it and it's uh as i said food grade silicone that thing folds flat this thing uh, cools off relatively quickly and it all just folds together nice and neat just like that this thing folds together like that and then this guy folds around and fits right here so just like that as i said folds flat fits in your pack easy and uh, the benefits that you get from using something like this is really, really nice. So the reservoir here is 140 milliliters capacity. It's about 4.7 ounces of water. So, you know, once you fill this thing up, it's gonna stay in there for quite a while. You know, it's not gonna leak out or boil out or anything like that. So definitely nice. And you know, it's because of the food grade silicone, this is, uh, you know, you can put this thing in the oven and it's not gonna melt. So very high heat resistant, really nice folds flat, very high quality materials. And uh, you know, I really like it for what it is. It's actually really, really cool. Go to flamestower.com. Here's their website right here and uh, check it out. They have a couple different items too that they're working on as well. And some things that are also available now. So definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. If you like my review and found it informative, you want to get one of these for yourself, click on that link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my website. Another way to help support is to click on the support button right on my YouTube's home, home page. When you do that, you could donate any number of dollars and that's going to allow me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. So I really appreciate all the help and love and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear what you guys think about something like this. You know, is it necessary? Is it overkill? Do you really need one? Or when can I get one? I wanna hear all your opinions on it. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. Make sure you click on that. This way you stay up to date on the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. Another way to stay connected is to head over to my website, trailermountain.com, and there'll be a little pop-up. You'll see, enter your name and your email address. This way you stay up to date on the latest gear reviews, giveaways, and everything that I'm working on here at trailermountain.com. Thanks again for tuning in. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews and other outdoor related hodgepodge. So thanks again guys and like always, get outdoors.